Hi everyone, welcome back to Pets and Paws channel. In today's video we are going to talk about Russian blue cats. But before we start, please make sure that you are subscribed and let's jump right into the video. The Russian blue cat commonly referred to as just Russian blue, is a cat breed with colors that vary from a light shimmering silver to a darker, slate gray. The short, dense coat, which stands out from the body, has been the breed's hallmark for more than a century. Russian Blue Cat History The Russian Blue is a naturally occurring breed that may have originated in the port of Arkhangelsk, Russia. They are also sometimes called Archangel Blues. It is believed that sailors took Russian Blues from the Archangel Isles to the Great Britain and Northern Europe in the 1860s. The first recorded appearance outside of Russia was in 1875 at the Crystal Palace in England, as the Archangel Cat. The Russian Blue competed in a class including all other blue cats until 1912, when it was given its own class. The breed was developed mainly in England and Scandinavia until after World War II. Right after the war, a lack of numbers of Russian Blues led to cross-breeding with the Siamese. Although Russian Blues were in America before the war, it was not until the post-war period that American breeders created the modern Russian Blue that is seen in the US today. This was done by combining the bloodlines of both the Scandinavian and British Russian Blues. The Siamese traits have now largely been bred out. The short hair and slate gray, blue color are often seen in mixed breed cats, which can affect breeders and showers due to mislabeling a cat as a Russian Blue. Physical Characteristics the Russian Blue Cat is a robust breed, with firm muscles and an overall dose of good looks. It is physically in the same class as the Corrid and Oriental Shorthair, long, slender, elegant. It is a medium size and muscular, but compared to a swimmer in the compactness of its musculature. When it is in full motion and stretched out, one can see that it has a long, graceful neck, but the neck is hidden by thick fur and high-set shoulder blades when the cat is sitting, making it look as though it has a short, thick neck. The Russian blue appears bigger than it actually is because of its double coat, which is the most eye-catching feature of this breed. Dense, silky, and plush, the hair stands out at a 45-degree angle, allowing you to literally trace patterns into it, where they will remain until you smooth your hand over them. According to some legends, the Russian blue was at one time the target of hunters, who likened their luxuriant fur to the fur of seals. The coat is bright blue, preferably lavender at the base, root, darkening along the shaft up to the tips of the guard hairs, protective hairs in the top coat, which are tipped in silver. The coat shimmers with reflective light, adding to the captivating physical qualities of this breed is the eye color. The eyes are yellow while the Russian blue is a kitten, and by four months there is a bright green ring around the pupil. As the cat matures, the eye color graduates into a bright, vivid green, aesthetically intensifying the already remarkable blue-silver coloring of the cat. The eyes are wide set and round, and only slightly slanted at the upper corners, giving the Russian blue a sweet expression that matches well with its gentle temperament. One of the more curious and amusing features of the Russian blue is its smile. It has a slightly upturned mouth, which is frequently compared to the enigmatic Mona Lisa smile. The Russian blue is a medium-sized cat, with an average weight of between 3.5 to 7 kilograms. The male Russian Blues are generally larger than females but besides that, they usually look similar. Despite the efforts of the breeders of the Russian Blue Cat for standardizing the physique of the breed, different morphological types still exist, due to its rich history. The type Siberian or Scandinavian, smaller than other representatives of the breed and particularly elegant, with spread ears and a darker color than the other Blue Russians. The American type, the most graceful. It is medium in size, with a rather light color and widely separated ears. The English type, the most robust. Visually distinguishable from other varieties by its fine vertically placed spikes. Most big cat associations only recognize the color blue, with a tip of slightly white and gray guard hair, giving the coat a shiny, silver appearance. The nose and pads are gray, charcoal or dark lilac. The white variety, which is only recognized by organizations in some countries, has white fur with silver highlights and pink nose and pads. Last, the black variety, which is in the same situation as white in terms of recognition, is characterized by shiny jet black fur from root to tip, and a black or dark brown nose and pads. Personality Traits People don't just love these cats because of their appearance and royal background, however. They have also been widely known to score high in intelligence and have vibrant personalities. The Russian Blue usually forms a strong bond with their owner and commonly shows displays of affection with those it is familiar with. 
They aren't an overly hyperactive breed but they have been known to be very playful. They get along well with other cats and are usually pretty good with children and strangers in the house. Since they are so smart, they usually pick up things easily and have even been known to play fetch with their owners. They do have some difficulties as well. Russian blues won't even think about getting in their litter box if it is dirty, so this is something you should keep in mind. They also tend to startle very easily and it is not uncommon to hide if you have guests in the house. If they do appear they will be very shy. Since they are very playful and affectionate sometimes might demand more attention than what you are able to give. If you ignore or neglect them in such cases they might be hurt emotionally, so try to schedule some time with them. These cats are also known for their ability to sympathize with human emotions and trying to cheer you up if you are in a blue mood. Affectionate, empathetic but restrained and independent at the same time. It is no surprise that so many stories are being told about these cats and that so many royal families wanted to have one as a pet. Note. All cats are individuals. While there is a great difference between cat breeds there is also a difference in temperament within breeds. Temperament is affected by a number of factors, including heredity, training, and socialization. Health and lifespan. Health no matter which breed you have at home, chances are, they are prone to breed specific health issues. In the case of Russian Blue, those health issues are relatively rare. These cats have a life expectancy of 15-20 years, but some live up to 25 years. Some of the health issues owners and vets noticed were progressive retinal atrophy. This issue is not necessarily connected with the breed. It is a hereditary eye condition that can cause blindness. Polycystic kidney disease. This condition will cause the cat's kidneys to develop cysts all over themselves. Obesity. The Russian blue loves eating, so you should be careful how much you feed it. Food. Diet and nutrition play a major role in the development of your tabby. The Russian blue cat doesn't need specific nutrition for its growth. Generally, they are food lovers. But, they may overeat sometimes, which leads to obesity. Russian blues are perfect at its food schedule, too. You should be vigilant in the feeding amount and the feeding schedule. But, the best way to prevent this cat from obesity is to measure its food and to provide it only at the scheduled times in a day. Keeping this cat in good health will avoid weight-related health problems. And, it will help this cat to have a long lifespan of 15 years. It is also important to ensure that everyone at your home knows about the overeating tendency of these cats. Shedding and grooming. The Russian blues are seasonal shedders. But, the amount of shedding is less in comparison with other cat breeds. As it is a short-haired cat, daily brushing its coat is not essential. But, weekly brushing will help its coat to be healthy. And, it enjoys your company and will sit along with you while you comb or brush it. So, it is easy to maintain this breed. Some authorities advise that brushing the coat twice or three times a week will help to remove dead hairs. Brushing will also help for the even distribution of oils in its skin. Bathing is also not necessary unless they are dirty and during shedding times for the quick removal of excess hair. But, ensure that you are using a shampoo designed for cats while you bath it. Brush the teeth regularly with a pet-friendly toothpaste for good dental health and fresh breath. Trim its nails regularly. Check its ears for dirt or any infection at least weekly once. Use a cotton ball and pet ear cleaner to wipe the dirt, don't use a cotton swab. In cases of excess dirt or inflammation or if your tabby shakes its head or scratches its ears, have an appointment with the vet. Some owners report that poor diet and lifestyle contribute more shedding in their Russian blues. But, a poor diet can cause heavy shedding in almost any cat breed. Also, if your tabby spends most of its time outdoors, it tends to shed more. How to train your Russian blue cat. The Russian blues will mature in a slow manner. But, don't think that training this breed is a fearsome task. It is easy to train this well-behaved feline. It pleases the trainer by learning the tricks in a quick manner. This cat will come out of its shell after getting a little push from its master. Socialization, obedience and reward-based training will help it to gain more love from people. Socialization training. Generally, the Russian blues will feel shy towards strangers. But with proper socialization training from an early age, it will enjoy interacting with people and traveling with them. And, you will feel comfortable providing training for it. Obedience training. It is advisable to provide this training when it is young. If you find the cat displaying undesirable behavior, be strong and stop your feline from doing so. Reward training. This kind of training can enhance the pleasing behavior in your furry friend. Give your cat treats as rewards as a way of praising when it performs the activities well. It also appreciates a pat on its head. Leash training. 
This training will give your feline the outdoor walks a happy experience. Choose a lightweight leash that is comfortable for your cat to wear. Place the leash close to the cat's neck and ensure that your tabby doesn't get alarmed when using it for the first time. You should be kind and calm while providing this training. Your tabby will get used to it by repeating the training. It is always better to know the do's and don'ts while providing training to any cat breed. So, we are providing you with a few tips how to make the training wonderful. The Russian blues are sensitive. So, don't shout or yell at it while providing training. Be kind, patient and consistent in your training. Don't prolong the training sessions. Keep the session short. This cat will get hurt if ignored. So, always provide attention to avoid fear and anxiety in them. Be thoughtful and considerate to it. The Russian Blues have a quiet reputation, but they will impress you with their playful nature. Fetching is its favorite activity. It also loves to chase after sunbeams or toys. They have a good memory, too. So, you can stimulate its physical and mental health in many ways. Cost. On average, the Russian Blue Kitten price is around $1,000 to $2,000 depending on several factors such as the breeder's reputation, registration, and lineage. Those with excellent pedigrees are more expensive than the ordinary ones, ranging between $1,500 and $3,000. Russian blue cats aren't rare. However, they are extremely expensive because of their popularity and pedigree. Hence, you should expect that their prices will vary from breeder to breeder. Reputable breeders with established names offer more expensive kitties because they are experts in their field. If you want to save money, you can always go the adoption route as it only costs a few dollars. Suitability. Russian Blues can handle most climates and they are excellent outdoor cats due to their tangle-free and easy-to-maintain fur. But additionally, they are excellent indoor cats due to their meticulous clean nature and their short fur leaving little mess. They will happily interact with a young family or will be a companion animal to an older single person. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what cat breed I should talk about next. See you in the next videos.